Okay, so I want to get straight to the cut. There's a lot to cover, so just stay patient, watch till the end. Bitcoin is currently at 97k, but by the time this comes out, it could be at 110 or back below 90. And like I said in that video before the day Bitcoin broke out, I would be selling my Bitcoin between 80 and 100k. And so I did exactly that. And so far, I've parted ways with 20%. I first made this public on my Twitter, where I will continue giving updates. So if you're not following me there, make sure you do link is in description but now in terms of altcoins and the topic of this video like i said in the last one the movement of bitcoin and its break of highs is not synced up to the movement of these altcoins there has always been a distinct liquidity shift from the former to the latter and i understand that some of you have been here for months a year or ever since the last top riding out the entire bear market and so i get it how much you need certain things to play out but i I've been having a bunch of people email me and message me how they're selling some things, buying others, asking if it's a good idea, and the genuine fumbles I've seen. It's, I, I couldn't believe it. So clearly this is getting to a lot of you. So therefore to help out a bit, let me give a little checklist of do's and do nots or whatever. Okay, so obviously there's a lot going on. Now, no matter what you think, all of us are being overstimulated right now. There's all these PLs, people making millions. You've made a little bit of money too, but nowhere close. All these new narratives popping up. You don't know who to trust, how to start, what to buy. Bitcoin is pretty much at 100k and, and yet you have nowhere near the money you would have thought you would have had. Therefore, I think you can't afford to make rash decisions with that mindset. A couple months ago, even a couple weeks ago, you had nowhere near this level of stimulation. And so the decisions you made, you right now sort of have to respect them. The phrase sitting on your hands is so much more easier said than done. We've barely started it, as far as altcoins. They haven't even begun. And yes, there will be an altcoin season. It won't be a Bitcoin only season. Every single cycle, like clockwork, during this exact same time, we start getting shouts of a Bitcoin only cycle. Other coins, won't move and i believe that this will be proven wrong yet again i feel like a big problem is you may feel like you have to do something if that is the case then i would recommend to either trade perps take a very small amount maybe like a thousand and just trade you'll probably lose but at least you have a way to stay away from touching your main bags because hypothetically let's say you are wrong i really hope that's not the case but let's say you are having made decisions this past year and being wrong on them would suck but that that doesn't even come close to how much you'll hate yourself if you make decisions now and end up being wrong on them. Another thing is open a phantom wallet and trade memes on Solana. Look for sub 1 to 3 million market caps that is new and actually has something going for it. There's a very decent chance you'll hit a 2 3x readily. There's no point of shilling tickers, but this is all a way just to kill time. So again, you don't touch your main bag and maybe just spend less time overall on Twitter and YouTube. You may think taking in all this knowledge is good, but too much information, which especially during this time, the quality really drops off combined with an uneasy mindset is net net, you know, maybe not the best thing. Okay, but with that said, I will be giving my top picks for each category, why that is, and some price uh, predictions or whatever you want to call it to go along with it. Not a smart move whatsoever from my part to do that. So don't form an entire thesis on that. But I don't know, I thought maybe it could help just, you know, build a frame of reference. So don't come back to this video saying I was wrong because I will be. You'll, you'll see why I'm doing this, but we're just projecting. So with DeFi, I will go with Ave, Athena, which I made a video on back like seven months ago, which by the way, if you're, if you're not subscribed, then I, like who is making this content? But anyway, and then I think I'll go with Thorchain. So Ave is currently at highs, literally one of the most important crypto applications and even though the value accrual for a long time didn't translate to that importance with that fee switch and that pro crypto cabinet we're gonna get 400 bucks should be achieved but if things really get going in that scenario it should make a push for all-time highs now with ENA it's probably the most exciting DeFi play this cycle I cannot emphasize the importance of having a decentralized dollar if they pull this off then next cycle this would be one of my top plays to buy into like if tether had a governance token it'd be the most valuable one by far but for this cycle i don't know i i think 
ties should be breached. Now, Thorchain is one of my favorite projects. The tech and what they're doing is insane, but whether people catch on to that, I don't know. Rune, however, is known for being a runner. Just look at how violent these moves are, both to the up and downside. So, I think what's going to happen with this is at one point it will get going to the upside and when it does i i honestly don't know where it's going to go i think it'll break this march high after that it depends on what the narrative is but will it break all-time highs i i don't know it could though it, it has to do with DeFi itself if DeFi becomes very popular and hot and remember these narratives rotate like crazy it could right now it may seem like DeFi. how could that ever become a trending topic it's all about memes for example and although some narratives do persist these narratives can switch on a dime so what i've done is i have exposure into all of them i think those conservative targets should be met and then we'll take it from there but if you think DeFi won't catch a bid which is 100% possible then maybe ignore DeFi completely which i respect but I, I have some. Uniswap is an honorable mention. I, you know, it's the main DeFi play. Just the market cap is pretty high. So, but more of a personal honorable mention is Curve. Don't buy Curve. Do not buy Curve. I'm not shilling it, but I want to give my idea. Like with this one, I'm literally trying to time the bottom. Okay, but DeFi is boring. Moving on to the fun stuff. Meme coins, I would not get into Doge or Shiba Inu. I gave an exact Dogecoin thesis a while back. So if you're holding Doge, I would highly recommend watching that video because it is playing out to the absolute t but from this point on its returns are probably limited if you're holding eth and you're bullish on eth then maybe switching it into pepe may not be a bad idea because as a beta and a good beta that has a narrative the biggest meme this cycle it will outperform every single time and it recently just became our first new cycle crypto to hit 10 billion in valuation if this trend of meme coins being bullish continues then pepe i think can continue to get to pretty absurd valuations plus with the unit bias which is a real thing for those reasons i haven't sold a single pepe which i think what my first ever video was on and then with the soul meme coins i think exposure is a must both whiff and bonk i own but from this point i might go with popcat i think it's lagging and i think it will catch up with its dog counterparts and then i would go with brat simply because of the exposure to base i think it's the best proxy even more so than arrow or the other candidates and then for the ai sentient meme coin sector first pick is goat so i think with these ai coins we're at that point now where we're going to keep getting the next big thing next innovation every single new launch is going to be better than the last therefore i think the novelty of goat being the first mover makes it the most important asset in this sector i think three to five billion is fair value so that'd be three to five bucks but i could see this get as high as 10 billion and then zero is also very good i put it in the s tier of that ai video i made like 10 days ago since then it's done amazing so again if you're not subscribed but currently at 400 million i can't say it's a buy right now it might be i might be wrong in fact i probably am but if you bought from back then 100 keep holding bully is a great alternative i gave it at 30 mil on my twitter it's up about 2x right now but i think it's quite quite comparable to zero bro I, I think they're at the same level so maybe something to consider but of all these memes farcoin is the one that could translate best to the normies so it, it covers the entire side of being associated with an ai coin but of all of them i think it has the best potential to translate to the average person for dpin akash network and aos are probably your staples the thing is that next cycle this will probably be the biggest narrative with what I'm seeing, they, they just do not have the infrastructure. This is literally the only way to keep up with the acceleration of AI. I just don't know if for this cycle, depending on when it ends, if it'll have enough time to really perpetuate and get going. Render is solid too. I hold render, but its market cap is a bit higher. I still expect it to do well. It, it seems to really pump. In the long run, it, you know, it doesn't even plug into Hugging Face or, you know, it's not really AI. But for this cycle, it'll be okay. It'll do well. But then I would also pay attention to Grass, Aether, and Destra. You need to ask yourself this. So again, Deepin next cycle will be 
the biggest narrative. You need to ask yourself though, for this cycle, will they have the legs to really go? Because if so, then these should be your picks to probably get that 10x. But if you think that Deepin will do well this cycle and good like any other narrative, but not necessarily the couple and go on its own insane run, then maybe stick to some of the larger caps. With AI, BitTensor is my biggest bet and Tau will go to the thousands. The next Tau video I will make when it hits a thousand until then there's not much to say nothing has really changed fetch honestly probably does pretty well based ai i would also look into their mainnet goes live next week and then some micro caps like zero one labs are also very good but there is a warning with this ai landscape which is the case that with this arrival of the ai sentient meme coin sector it could serve as an ai liquidity black hole which i tweeted about a while ago back when it was just getting started people were suggesting that you know maybe with the current assets we had at that time it was difficult to really get exposure into ai but with these ai coins on solana a lot of people are seeing that as a way to invest in artificial intelligence which is why i spoke about both narratives in this video so i would highly recommend looking into those assets and not ignoring the two with gaming i would go beam super and prime i think that's as clean and as simple as it gets and then for RWA, I would look at Ondo and Clearpool. I think across the board, base case for these crypto, we're looking at at least a 3 to 5x. So if you're new to crypto, I think this is a fantastic sort of guide to get an idea of everything going on. So if you're new here, this is exactly where I would start. And if you've been here for a while, I'm assuming you would have got into these crypto lower. So a 3 to 5x from now should i think be pretty significant in how much you make overall and so if that is the case you don't want to mess it up by doing all those things mentioned earlier but i will leave it there for now make sure to like subscribe and comment for any of your trading needs to buy any of these crypto sign up to those partner exchange links in the description they're non-kyc so if you're from the us canada you can use them but until then goodbye